Yo, welcome, Frony. So today we're going to take a look at all the different stats that exist in the game. And we are going to make sure that you understand how all of those stats work and how you can use it to your advantage to get the highest DPS. When we are talking about stats, it's important to understand what diminishing returns means. So in this game, if you are stacking almost any stat, it will not give you a flat 1% for each 10 points that you're stacking, even though it is basically saying that almost in the description for the skills. So here we are having an overview. So that means based on what they're saying, 1% per 10 points, you would imagine on first go that at 1000, we would have 100%, but actually at 1000, it's about 50%. It's also a game where stacking over the base 1000 is viable. You need to understand this graph. It's important for your character building. So when we are looking here at the example from evasion and hit, we can see it clearly. Evasion is a stat that is determining how high the chance is that if someone attacks you, the attack is evading and it actually deals zero damage. And hit, on the other hand, is the counterpart to that stat and that determines how high is the chance that your hit is going through the enemy's evasion. So basically, if an enemy has lots of evasion, you want to stack lots of hit. And I also planned it in the formulas for the nerds that want to calculate their stuff when you're going to do that for all the stats. Our next pair is endurance and critical. So that means if we are stacking 1000, we already learned that we do not have 100% critical rate, we have 50%. But if the enemy is stacking endurance, it will decrease our critical rate based on the enemy's endurance. So that means if enemies are building high endurance, you will have to build as much critical as possible and don't stop at like 50% or like 1000. You can get that to way higher numbers and you need to against endurance stacking enemies. But what actually is a critical in Throne and Liberty? Because it's different from many other games. So here on the example of the Queen Belandir's crossbow, we can see it has a damage range from 32 to 136. And if you are successfully critical striking, it will actually take the 136 as a bait for all farther damage calculations. So basically critical means that you're dealing max damage with a hit. Heavy attack, on the other hand, is what is usually known as critical in many other games where critical is doubling your damage. And here, the heavy attack is also classically doubling your damage at the end of the damage calculation. Now we're having a really interesting stat and that is bonus damage. And again, the counterpart damage reduction. Bonus damage works the way that if you're having one skill that is dealing a heavy burst like brutal incision, for example, and you have 10 bonus damage, it will add up for that single skill by 10. But if you, on the other hand, have a skill where you are hitting multiple times, the bonus damage will be applied on each hit that you're doing. So on Brutal Incision, we would only get a bonus of 10. And on Quickfire, in this example, we would actually get a bonus damage of plus 30. So bonus damage is only viable to be stacked on classes that can have skills with multiple attack. And damage reduction, the counterpart, is basically reducing the damage in the same way as bonus damage is increasing it. Besides evasion, another important stat is actually resistances against certain CC abilities. Like for example, you are able to have the chance to build resistance against stun. So you're maybe more safe from like an attack from an assassin. But on the other hand, other people have also the option to build a chance to have a higher ability to stun. So similar to evasion and hit, you have to pair it out for your build. One thing that's especially important if you are building your own builds, you need to calculate the effective DPS for your skills to make sure that everything is fitting together with your gear. If you want to min max, I would say there is no way around this. And if you need some help with this, like it would take a whole probably fair 30 40 minute video to actually explain how this is done so if you need help just contact me i'm glad to help you